Okay, friends, so you saw that correctly. Um, it said Amazon, paralyzed by Amazon or whatever I said. But, you know, it, it's been two weeks since I had uh, my account active. And I had a couple of um, items that I did, went and purchased just strict, you know, straight for Amazon. And I just felt the honest truth being a newbie. That's why I'm calling this the newbie files for with Amazon. Um, I felt intimidated. It's like, it's a, to me, it's a total new beast dealing with Amazon. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's easier or it's supposed to be harder than eBay. eBay, like once I got the gist of shipping and things like that, it became so easy. And I have a feeling Amazon could be that way. But right now, honestly, I feel confused. And like when I scan things, it says restricted. Okay, I understand restricted means I can't sell it. But then it says like... uh FBA required or something and that's what I'm doing FBA and um, or it tells you, you can't do this because it's new or just certain things come up and arise and so I felt intimidated by it and truthfully I didn't even list anything for those two weeks the last time that last video I did regarding I have an account on Amazon I didn't do any, uh, I didn't list anything. I tried, I scanned and this and that, and you get messages come up and I mean, there's a lot of things. I don't want to say there's a lot of things, but there's stuff that you have to go into your settings for to change. And I don't know what to change. And I kind of felt discouraged, but yesterday I thought, okay, I just have to do trial and error. If I get in trouble with Amazon or they shut my account down for doing something naively or however you want to say it then so be it but i scanned my first item the pizza remember the pizza the pizza maker kit to make cones or something i did that i put it on and um so that went okay and then i scanned the pillow pets the paw patrol pillow pets and when i bought those pillow pets those showed 40 dollars, but then it said i couldn't sell them new and things like that and um, now when I scan it, it says that it's $20 sale price and that I'll probably get like $3 or $5 profit versus two weeks ago, had I scanned them and shipped them to Amazon, um, my profit would have been at least 20 some do uh, $20 and change or $19 and it dropped down significantly. And then I also hear people talking about Keepa to pay attention to Keepa and it doesn't seem like those Paw Patrol pets are going to go up to like $40 anytime soon. So, and I think I'm still restricted on those. So I think they, you know, I heard you have to uh, maybe request and I did request, I requested to, uh, I guess you call it apply to be approved or something. And I got a message saying that I was approved. However, when I go back to scan it and I signed out of my app on my phone, the scanning sellers app, and I uh, log back in and either it hasn't been updated yet, but it still tells me I can't and I have to be FBA required or something, which is what I'm doing. So I don't know. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of those Paw Patrols and keep it for my grandson's Christmas gift since the, the, um, profit is not that great and I'll probably put it on eBay the other one I'm probably gonna put those on eBay and um and go from there and then under my settings it did show stuff that I am approved for like office supplies uh, home and garden uh home decor uh I think pet things um a few other things I don't remember but there's a lot to learn because you have to learn what BSR, I forgot what BSR, the B stands for, but you got to learn the BSR if it's a good thing that's going to sell quickly or is it going to sit. So anyways, that's why I haven't made any Amazon videos yet because I felt 
a lot of different emotions, which to me, I think it's kind of ridiculous, but at the same time, it's true. I'm, I'm just expressing how I felt. Um, with eBay, it was like I dove in and I kind of figured things out. And yeah, I did make some mistakes, but it, it was kind of more easier on eBay than how I feel with Amazon. Amazon, there's like so many different things and you get these alerts and, oh, you can't do this. And anyways, I'm not complaining. Well, yeah, I was, I'm kind of complaining. However, I don't give up easily. Sometimes I just need to back away and just to regather myself and uh, just go with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check on some items at the store and see um, their clearance items. And they have stickers on the uh, barcode. And I'm going to check to see if those are... Um, a good profit on those things so that's what I'm gonna do and I don't know I'll keep you updated how things are going with eBay again I have one item that I listed yesterday which is that pizza cone thing but <laughs> anyways so it's all trial and error it's just the main thing is not to get discouraged and if you do get discouraged it's okay to have negative feelings and feel overwhelmed and things until we get the groove of it until we understand it but the main thing is not to let your mind sit there you gotta you know you gotta just pick up dust yourself off and just keep going and uh, maybe you know if email Amazon if you have a question or something but I haven't come to that road yet I'm still like I do Google and things to try and get some of my questions answered or I have a couple of channels that I follow and I, you know, check, refer to their channels and things like that. Okay, friends. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, for two weeks, I kind of felt paralyzed by Amazon, only paralyzed in the, in the sense that I was kind of afraid, felt overwhelmed. Um, uh, you know, just kind of, I don't want to say insecure, but I don't know if you're a type of person that you always want to do things you want to do it right and I don't know how to explain it and then the moment you feel that insecurity creep up in you it's a it's not a fun feeling but anyways okay friends so that's just a little update with um Amazon and I'll probably show you what I scanned and uh see what else I do